Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm going to be showing you how to get Pokemon Black and White for your PC. All the links I'll be showing you are in the description. First thing you want to go to is called NoGBA.com. This is where you get the actual emulator. Don't be confused by the name. GBA usually means Game Boy Advance, but also plays DS uh, ROMs too. You want to click Download NoGBA. Go down and click Download NoGBA Latest Version. You'll see down here that you have the download. You want to extract it to your desktop and leave it there. I already have it, so I'm not going to do that. Your next link will be a media fire link in the description. This is where you get the actual ROMs and all the other things you need. Download it, and then it's a pretty big file, so it'll probably take about four or five minutes, depending on your connection. Once you're done with that, extract it to your desktop. Right here are the two files, no GBA and the files folder, which contains the ROM. And here you have the emulator and the README. All this other stuff is from saves that you'll gradually get. You want to open up the emulator, and you'll start out right here on the desktop, and you go to the files folder, which you have saved there. Go to Pokemon ROM, and here you have Pokemon Black and White. We'll open up Pokemon Black because I already have a save. Open that, and you will see this error. You want to go to Options, I mean Utilities, Cheats, and you'll probably have two cheats here, or you might not. It doesn't matter. If they are there, delete them. And then you want to go to, these are the ones I already have, but I'll show you how to do it. You go to Add New, go to the Files folder, and you'll see Codes. Open that Notepad, and right here you see Pokemon Black and Pokemon White. Depending on which one you want to run, you copy that all this code into here. And then you want to call it black one or white one depending on whatever whatever one you're using. Click on action replay DS. Make sure you don't do code breaker or it won't work. And then you click OK. It'll have this and then you want to make a second one. Add new again, and then down here you'll see a second line of code. Pokemon Black and Pokemon White. Depending on yours, you want to copy that and put it in here and call it Black 2. And then save it as Action Replay DS again. Hit OK and you'll have both of these. Then you want to double click on both of them to have the check mark appear. And then hit OK. Once you've done that, go to File, Reset Cartridge. And then it should load. There you have it. You have Pokemon Black. I'll show you around a little bit the emulator so you can get used to it. Under file you have some different things, reset if it happens, snapshots. Utilities, you can enter more cheats or anything else, you can take screenshots. Options is another thing. You have control setup and you can set up all the controls you want like up, down, and A, B, and all the other controls. Emulation, I wouldn't mess around with that lot. Last time I did it, it turned black and it wasn't working, so I just have it as the standard. And I'll show you a little bit about the game to show you that it's real. Okay, here, skip the opening. There you go, Pokemon Black version. Uh, there's the save. And there you go. Pokemon Black version without the DS. You can get this on your Android phone, and I'll upload a video as soon as I get to 100 likes. So be sure to like this, comment on it, or subscribe. Thank you, and have a good time playing the DS.